Storyline makes building interactive e-learning easy, really easy. But it also makes building more traditional presentation-based e-learning just as easy, such as animating bullet points. So if you are doing something like that and you want to uh, build your bullet points out, but you want to maintain that, that single text box similar to the way you would work in PowerPoint, you can do that just as easily. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to bring open my timeline. You can see I have some audio right here and um, I just want to sync some of these uh, text boxes to my audio. Well, what I would first do is I just select this whole block of text. I don't necessarily have to break this into individual text boxes. I can work with one text box. Up here in the animations tab, I just want to go ahead and maybe we'll just choose a fade in. But this time I want to choose by first level paragraph. So it doesn't really look any different here, but uh, let's take a look at this. If I move my timeline up, here's my text box with everything in it. Check this out right here. I now have access to each of these individual uh, lines or paragraphs of text. So if I were syncing this, what I would probably do is I would, I would play it, right? And I would add cue points, right? So I will just press the C key as I go and so on, right? So the cue points make just uh, timing this a lot easier, but I, that's enough for here. So I could play it back and listen, and I can just drag each of these out as it plays. And now I can synchronize all of my, either my bullets or my paragraphs uh, really easily. And if I wanted all these to come in together, I could obviously just bring it out over there. So here's what it looks like. We'll just preview whatever I have right here. So preview the slide. You may not hear the audio, but you'll see. Okay, so this one needs to be moved out. So I guess the whole point here was the bullets. So let's move the bullets out. So there's project development teams production. I'll keep the title in there. Let's try it one more time. And obviously, if I were really doing this, I would want to time it better to the audio. But this is one paragraph bringing in and I'm synchronizing, controlling when each of these uh, paragraphs come in. And there's your bullets right there. So uh, the key here is just to work with the paragraph level in your text and then apply your animation just like you would anything right, paragraph level, but then open up your timeline and expand the text box where you'll have uh, then access to each of the individual uh, paragraphs in that single box.